Hello everyone, this is Mary Ann and I'm back with another video. Uh, in this video, I'd like to show you what's in my toiletry bags because I have two. Sorry about that. The wire of my microphone is, you know, all over the place. There. Um, these are the toiletry kits that I use. I purchased them from SM Department Store and they were like 200 pesos each, 200 plus, 230 or something. And I would like to share with you what's in them and why. So first, this is the bag that I carry with me when I go to the bathroom. Uh, I put this on here. I should replace this with a paracord or something thicker and more durable and matches the color of this bag. Uh, because I use this when I go inside a bathroom stall and what I do is I usually hang this over the part where you hang your bag or when I am not carrying my bag along with me I use this to hang it over the, the knob that you use to lock the door the latch of that is actually has a hook that you can you know you know jimmy this into but I have to replace this so this has two compartments of equal size First is the compartment I use when I go into the stall. This is a uh, wet wipes, uh, maxi pad, and over here, this liquid soap. And of course, when I hang it over the uh, on the door, this doesn't fall out because there's a zipper here that keeps everything secure. And over here is the are the things that I use when I use the sink inside the bathroom so let's take these out first of all there is you know facial wash this is Celotech hydration facial wash this is what I am trying out the the, the Celotech hydration line is something that I'm trying out because I have uploaded a video about my Mary Kay time wise line that I've been using for about five years and I have abandoned that and I am going to link the Mary Kay video down below but uh, adjunct to that video is uh, my remark here in this video now that I, this is one of the things that I'm trying out and this is in my toiletry bag because it is so hot these days and sometimes I have to go out of the office I go to school three times a week from the office and it's not really very you know it, sometimes it, I can get sweaty and greasy and dirty and I feel like I just have to wash my face so this one is in here I also have a bigger bottle at home so that's in there and then I have the Sensodyne repair and protect toothpaste and over here I have the Oral-B Braun uh, electric toothbrush actually this is battery operated this is not rechargeable this is uh, I can't pop it out but there are two AE batteries on here and I'm also using the Oral-B floss action brush head this is the one that always stays in my bag here I have another one at home and that one is rechargeable Oral-B brawn and it also uses the floss action brush head so I really like it because it really cleans my teeth. My teeth feel really clean, uh, but I still have to floss. You always have to floss, no matter what kind of brush technology you use on your teeth, you always have to floss, unless you have a water pick, which I don't. So I always have to floss. So that's in here. This didn't come with a carrying case, so I had to sort of improvise. I always have to keep my brush head clean and separate from everything else because, um, you know, uh, you, what was I saying? <laughs> Sorry, I forgot what I was saying. So I always feel the need to, you know, have this isolated. And of course, I have a super small mirror this is for checking my teeth to make sure that I really got it clean because sometimes the mirror and the sink in bathrooms public bathrooms are kind of far and I have to lean forward so much over the sink just to look at my teeth in the mirror it's easier for me to just use this 
very small mirror and then hold it up to my teeth and then see if I missed a spot. So there, that's what I use. And I like this bag because it keeps my stall items separate from my sink items. Um, I always pack this at the bottom of the bag because this is kind of heavy. But well, more or less it should look like this. And everything fits pretty much. Hold on. How did I pack that before? There. Hmm. I'll figure that out later. So this is the bag that I use when I go to a public bathroom. Like in the office or at school or in restaurants. But at home, I use different products. These stay on here like every time. I don't take these things out when I go home. This always stays in my bag because it used to be that I put my rechargeable toothbrush on here and bring it to work and bring it to school. But you know, sometimes I forget to pack the electric toothbrush and so I don't have anything to use when I'm in school or while I'm in the office. And sometimes I, for I leave my electric toothbrush in the office and when I get home, I have nothing to use at home. So I just bought another one but this is cheaper this is battery operated but the one at home that i have is rechargeable and it has 3d action by the way and this one also has 2d action only and i'm going to be putting up another video comparing the two but for now this is a video about what's in my toiletry bag so let's uh yeah let's i'm gonna get this out of the way and i have another toiletry bag that matches this is the bag that contains all the items that I use to freshen myself up and I, and I don't have to be in the bathroom before I can use these. These are mostly for my face and my teeth and I'm going to show these to you. First there's Oral-B Super Floss because I have bridge work and that's what you use to clean your bridge and I don't really have to be in a bathroom before I can do this. I can do this, you know, at, at, right at my desk, hiding from other people <laughs> using my mirror that I have here. And then over here I have the Celitec hydration toner and cotton rounds. And I have a bigger bottle of this at home and I have a bigger pack of this at home as well. And over here I have, you know, I'm trying out the Celitec line and this is the Celitec um matte uh, sunscreen for the face with SPF 30 and over here is the Celitec anti-wrinkle moisturizer I layer these on because you can do that <clears throat> in the morning after cleansing and toning I put the anti-wrinkle moisturizer on and then when it's dry I put on the sunblock and then I don't put on any makeup so really that's all that's in here and it pretty much fits, you know. I just don't like how this is packed. Now, this is a new pack. The one I have at home has already been opened, but I just put this on here so it's new. I just don't like how this is packaged. The, the cardboard box gets ratty after, you know, a couple of weeks. And there are 50 strands in here. So you're going to be using this for like if you need to floss like every time after you eat then it's going to be like three to five times a day because that's how often I eat. And you're going to be using this box for you know about a month or three weeks and at the end of the first week this is going to be you know disintegrating so I really don't like the way it's packaged but I have to live with it anyway or I might think of another way of storing them but for now this is what's in here I also have a third bag by the way this doesn't match because um, this is kind of like an afterthought I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be if this is gonna be staying in my bag but some items here are things that I need in case now this is a sleep mask which I use for traveling and sometimes in my lunch hour in the office Sometimes I take a nap, so I put this on. And over here is a medical mask for when, you know, uh, there's too much pollution outside. I, I put on one of these on my face, and then at the end of the day, I throw them away and then put a fresh one in. And then 
just, just some band-aids and then antibacterial cream this is Bactraban ointment and then an eyebrow pencil and these are ties for my um, eyeglasses in case they are you know it's so hot so my face starts to tends to sweat more and it used to be that my glasses slide down my nose so I need to attach these to the stems and this one goes on the nape of my neck but with the new glasses that I'm using it doesn't slide even though I get so sweaty so I'm, I'm not sure if I still need that and over here is really just a pain medication this is Ponstan 500 for when I get a headache so I'm not really sure if I should be bringing this around but it's a very very thin pouch and I hardly notice it at all in my bag I mean it doesn't really disturb anything in it um, I mean it doesn't really disturb anything else that's in my bag so I'm keeping it in my bag for the meantime so there you have it these are my toiletry bags and what's in them okay thank you so much for watching until next time bye